Hey friends, Rob Wood here doing a response or a review where Holly from American Idol sang The Climb. Man, I believe to me it was her best performance of the season. Even the judges thought so. Gave her a full standing ovation. Although Joshua's got 12 so far this year if you count them. I like American Idol. It's a good clean show. One of the only ones on TV I can enjoy with my wife and kids. And uh, hey, if you think that was Holly's best performance of the year... Hit the like button right now. Give me your comments if you agree with me. And let me just employ your friends the climb or that song. There's a lyric in that song stated, always going to be another mountain. Mountains in, the, mountains in our life speak of obstacles, trials, circumstances, bad news. And, uh, you know, in the Bible, and so much, how'd you get from American Idol, Holly the Climb to the Bible? Well, I am a minister of the gospel, friends. If you want to subscribe to my ministry channel via YouTube, you can do so. Also, you just search Robwood One, where I've got many of the teaching, preaching ministry videos where I talk about God, heaven, hell, angels, these demons, eternity, the Bible, etc. But in the Bible, it talks about if you say, be thou removed to mountains, cast into the sea, it shall be done for you. So it's our faith that moves trials, obstacles, mountains in life. You know, Monday you could be doing great. Tuesday the doctor could call you up and tell you you have a terminal sickness. Hey, I'm not saying that's going to happen to you. and I, No, it's not going to happen to me. But the point I'm trying to make is you don't know what life can bring in the future. All I know is if you have God in your life in the center, he will bring you through the mountains, trials, and obstacles, the valleys, etc. In the book of, jo book of Jeremiah, the 29th chapter, 11th verse simply states, God says, I have a plan for you, plan for a hope and a future, plans for an expected end. And hey, you know the scripture. Come on. The book of John, third chapter, 16th verse simply states, for God's soul of the world, that's me, that's you, that he gave his only son, Jesus, friends, that if you would believe in Jesus, you'd not perish, you'd have everlasting life. Hey, say this prayer with me. Say, Jesus. Now, I'm asking you to repeat it because the Bible says if you confess with your mouth, believe in your heart that God raised Christ from the dead, you shall be saved. Be saved from what you ask. Hey, eternal separation from God. Say, Jesus, thank you for dying on the cross of my sins. Thank you for being my Lord and Savior. Friends, if you own a Bible, get the dust off it. Start to read it. It does you no good unless you read it. Develop a prayer life. Get in a good Bible-based Christian preaching and teaching church. Again, if you want to subscribe to my ministry channel via YouTube, I talk about many issues, sexual morality, uh, fear, worry, anxiety, the battlefield of the mind. I talk about love, hate, heaven, hell, angels, demons, etc. But again, just that's my response. Bringing it back to American Idol, friend. Holly sang the climb. Always going to be another mountain. If you agree that was her best performance of the year, Hit the like button. Give me your comment. Friends, be blessed in Jesus' name. Let me pray for you. Father, I pray for anybody under the sound of my voice that's experiencing trials, uh, tribulations, in relationships, in, the, in their own bodies, sickness, disease, or people that are have family members or friends that are battling with disease or anything. Father, I pray for them. Father, touch them through your love, compassion, grace, and mercy, your kindness. Jesus, you love them. Reach out. Father, they'll make the climb. They will go around the mountain. They'll go through the mountain, Father. They'll go through the obstacles. Friends, God bless you in Jesus' name.